I ran the Boston Marathon in 1996 with a brain tumor. I didn't know it at the time. And in October of that year, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. The first surgeon I went to, and this was at a local hospital, told me I'd either be dead or paralyzed after the surgery. And he was probably correct. If he had done the surgery, he was telling me the truth. He also told me that I had 12 to 18 months to live. Um, that weekend, after getting over the initial shock and telling my 10-year-old son what I had been told, um, and that was the toughest thing I had to do. Once I cleared that hurdle, then I spent that weekend finding a better physician. As long as doctors can place a face with the surgery, and as long as money is being raised, and I'm a charter member of the Race for Hope, and have been involved with ABC Squared since they've been started up. Uh, I, I did know Steve Case's brother pretty well. He came to the support group that I facilitate. And um, there's always hope, and that has to be the message, no matter what the docs tell you. I never thought I was going to die. No matter what the doctors told me, and that, that was the negative part of it, they were the skilled sets, but they don't know the human spirit. So I didn't intend to die from this. Through um, positive thinking, helpful energy, and diet, and exercise, and everything that I try to advocate, and that's what the patient can do. But what really is important is what the doctors can do. And that's where I think ABC Squared, and the Race for Hope, and whatever other avenues are out there to raise money for research is so important. You have to want to live. You have to want to survive. Everything else could, and it doesn't always, but everything else could fall into place. But the at bottom, and as I mentioned, the human spirit, no one can measure that. But you have to want to survive.